19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Now let's go ahead and remove our wheel and set it aside. On our passenger side, lower trailing arm here, we're gonna go ahead and use a 15 16 socket on this side here and adjustable wrench on the other to hold that nut. Let's go ahead and remove that bolt. do next is we want to remove this bracket right here. We want to replace this trailing arm. This bolt itself will not come out. It'll hit the inside of the frame there. So we want to go ahead and go ahead and stretch this down. And let's go ahead and get to these bolts using a 15 millimeter socket and our impact gun. We have our third and last bolt on the front section here. Be careful when you remove that, this whole bracket and the trailing arm will come down. And on our bracket here, we're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket on our impact and a 15 millimeter wrench on this side here. Let's go ahead and remove that bolt. Now on a trailing arm here, we have two different ends here. The end that we took off that went to the bracket is this end here. And if you notice that our main beam is more of a solid beam than it is a hollowed unit here, and it is offset. So we want the offset to be facing inward. Match that up, take your bolt, put this through your bracket, install the nut, So we left our bolt loose for our trailing arm and our bracket. We did go ahead and clean up our bolts and we're gonna go ahead and get the bracket mounted up. And put some anti-seize compound on the threads. Let's go ahead and get all three of these bolts started. Let's go ahead and snug down these bolts. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line up our trailing arm with our knuckle. However, our bolt hole is not lining up. Install the bolt, use a pry bar. I'm gonna simply apply a little bit of pressure, pushing that knuckle forward. With that bolt now installed, go ahead and get that nut started. Go ahead and snug that down. Using our 15, 16 socket and our 24 millimeter on the nut, let's go ahead and snug this down. Go ahead and tighten down our trailing arm, it's a bracket bolt. 
in our 18 millimeter wrench on the nut side and a 15 on the bolt side. Now you want to go ahead, if you have the ability to do so, torque this bolt down to 77 foot-pounds. We're going to go ahead and make sure ours is pretty tight. Our trailing arm to knuckle bolt should be torqued to 177 foot-pounds using a 24 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. Good, install your wheel. Go ahead and get your lug nuts installed by hand, and then we'll go ahead and snug them all down. Torque your lug nuts down to 100 foot-pounds.